Besides the basic quantities of the SI system, there are so-called derived units. These are units derived from the basic quantities such as mass, length, and time. In this segment, we will discuss several of these derived quantities that are important in chemistry. The first derived quantity is area, indicated by capital A. The unit for area is derived from the unit of length, the meter. The unit of area is the square meter, or m to the second. Volume is also derived from the quantity of length. Volume is indicated by a capital V. The unit of volume is the cubic meter, or m to the third. Density is also a derived unit, indicated by a letter D. The unit of density is kilogram over meter cubed. And finally, frequency, a quantity related to the quantity of time. The unit is hertz, which is defined as one over second. So let's discuss these derived units one by one. The unit of area relates to the unit of length. In fact, it is length squared. In the SI system, the unit for area is the square meter, or meter to the second. Now let's consider a square, which has sides one meter. Now what is the area of this square? That is one meter times one meter, and that equals one meter squared. If we shrink the sides of this square by 10 times, we have a much smaller square. The area of this square is 0.1 meter times 0.1 meter, and that is 0.01 meter squared. And because 0.1 meter equals a decimeter, the area of this smaller square equals one decimeter square. We see that one decimeter square is 100 times smaller than a meter square. If we shrink the sides of the smaller area by 10 times, each side shrinking by 10 times, we have a much smaller square. The area of the smaller square is 0.1 decimeter times 0.1 decimeter, which equals 0.01 decimeter squared. And because 0.1 decimeter equals a centimeter, the area of the smaller square equals one centimeter squared. We see that one centimeter squared is equal to a hundredth of a decimeter squared. Let's move on to the quantity of volume. The unit of volume is related to the unit of length as well. It is length cubed. In the SI system, the unit for volume is the cubic meter, or m to the third. Let's consider this box, which has a width of one meter, a depth of one meter, and a height of one meter. What is the volume? The volume is one meter times one meter times one meter, and that equals one meter cubed. As before, let's shrink the sides of this cube by 10 times. In that case, the volume of this smaller box will be 0.1 meter times 0.1 meter times 0.1 meter, and that equals 0.001 meter cubed. Because 0.1 meter equals a decimeter, the volume of the smaller box equals one decimeter cubed. That means that one decimeter cubed is a thousand times smaller than a meter cubed. We play this trick one more time. We shrink the sides of this box by 10 times. The volume of the smallest box, therefore, is 0.1 decimeter times 0.1 decimeter times 0.1 decimeter, and that equals 0.001 decimeter cubed. Because 0.1 decimeter equals a centimeter, uh, the volume of this smallest box equals one centimeter cubed. We see that one centimeter cubed is a thousand times smaller than a decimeter cubed. How small is a centimeter cubed, approximately? Well, a centimeter cubed corresponds to the size of a single sugar cube. In chemistry, we often deal with liquids and liquid solutions. To indicate the volume of liquids and solutions, we use a different unit. We use the liter. The liter is defined as follows. One liter equals one decimeter cubed. Now, how much is one liter approximately? The volume of the water in this bottle is approximately one liter. Another very useful unit is the milliliter. The milliliter is one thousandth 
of a liter, or 10 to the minus 3 liters. That corresponds to 10 to the minus 3 decimeter cubed. And because 10 to the minus 3 decimeter cubed equals a centimeter cubed, one milliliter is defined as one centimeter cubed. Now, how much is one milliliter approximately? It corresponds to the amount of coughing syrup in this quarter teaspoon. Let's move on to density. Density is defined as mass over volume. In the SI system, the unit for density is kilograms per cubic meter. In chemistry, however, we often use the gram per milliliter as a practical unit. One gram per milliliter corresponds to one gram per cubic centimeter. If you multiply the grams and the cubic centimeter both by 1,000, you find that one gram per milliliter corresponds to one kilogram per cubic decimeter. And that corresponds to one kilogram per liter. You see that the density expressed in one gram per milliliter corresponds to the density expressed in kilogram per liter. And this relation is very useful to keep in mind. Let's do a quick exercise with the unit of density. The density of copper is 8.96 grams per milliliter. Let us calculate the volume of 15 grams of copper. We know that density is defined as mass over volume. However, I'm not asked here to calculate the density. I'm asked to calculate the volume. So I'm going to rearrange this formula like this. Volume equals mass over density. I know the mass and I know the density. They are both given in this question. I find 15 grams over 8.96 grams per milliliter. And that equals 1.68 milliliter, or 1.68 centimeter cubed. Now, finally, let's look at frequency, a quantity derived from the quantity of time. The unit for frequency in the SI system is the hertz. It is defined as 1 hertz equals 1 time per second, or 1 second minus 1. Let's look at this swing set. And let's imagine I put my daughter on this swing set and I give her a big push. She will take one swing in 3.2 seconds. What is the frequency of her swinging? The frequency will be 1 over 3.2 seconds, which is 0 0.31 per second or 0 0.31 hertz.